Hello, if you're going to Mr. Who Reviews. And today I'm reviewing X Men 97 Bright Eyes. Um, yeah, just a spoiler for anybody that has seen it since a lot happens in us. Uh, yeah, in this episode, the X Men are still dealing with the, the destruction. Of a Genosa and Rogue is uh, still going through her grief of losing not only a, a Gambit but Magneto as well. Seeing the attacks uh, a government base that the guys are saying that it, it's a supposed to uh, hold the Hulk. As he does uh, get through it easily. Hmm. Uh, they do have a funeral for a uh, gambit where then the and my crowd just says a few words which I thought was a kind of good and uh, Scott does try to get help from a uh, present Kelly but yeah he can't really give it since he's thinking about the, the poles and that and he can't, and he can't, he can't see his way like a hit side of a what 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 I think what he's uh, thinking of, since he's probably the only uh, a human uh, politician that's the pro mutant. So I might be able to help now, but I might be able to help later on. And definitely has got to know to just uh, uh, help out, and as uh, Con Jean seeing like together. Uh, uh, like, uh, getting, getting better. Until um, Jean uh, finds out, or just uh, senses in her uh, psychic energy, and Scott thinks is that man in prior. But turns out it's uh, Emma Frost. Yeah, apparently, this is the first time that she turns into her diamond form. Yeah. Yeah, Madame Pryor is dead as well. So, and so uh, so are some of them, some of the Morlocks, or maybe all of them. All of that. Hmm. Anyway, the reason Rogue was uh, attacking the um, a government or a military base because he's trying to find a uh, Bolivar Trask. Um. Yeah. 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 Uh, meet up with uh, Captain America, who is also looking for Trask. And turned out he was uh, held out by this uh, group by a uh, called a uh, DZT. Yeah, I don't know what what stand for. Um, yeah, I'm with that uh, Captain America being in in the in the like this. I have a bit of a theory that. The Spider-Man anime series probably a different universe, and that's what did with the the newspaper in the the first episode of the daytime series, uh, saying that that someone was written by uh, Eddie Brock and the Pierre Parker since and in the Eddie Brock was being in, in the the dark dimension with the Ma the in the Spider-Man universe and. In the Spider, so Sp and I, I made Spider Man. In the Captain America, supposed to be caught in like a, a warp tunnel or something with that red skull. Yeah, I, I was thinking the the X Men and Sp that made X Men and Spider Man universe is just two different things, even though they did, or the characters did me up, but, ugh. you know. And we uh just like to replace in the cup I gave her Rogue's able to find a guy who's just uh, lifting it up. And uh see able to use uh her powers to just find out where uh uh a bull uh, uh how many garlic is. Um, just uh, passed out since uh, 
since they have the the person that that was a uh, that she's trying to absorb the memory from it was fighting her and she gets that found by Nightcrawler. And I like that you mention that they are as the step siblings. So good. And Henry Glider did contact the X Men wanted to tell him everything that he and Sensor had been doing and yeah, they're really trusting uh that might be a trap, but yeah, that's uh me they got. Um while they're doing that, the Juvie has to convince the uh, Sunspot to tell uh, either one or both his parents that he's a mutant. And yeah, it goes well, because sort of the parents did know that he was a mutant and they're accepting of a Jubilee. But they need they then uh, the mother saying that they keep uh, her son being a mutant quiet because the sh shareholders and what happened in Genosha. And does that cause one said that that to be more discreet? Yeah. Mm. Don't know. Oh yeah, new and and they have a scene where Judy just mention her foster parents who have haven't turned up in the series since the pilot from the Rizzo Ame series. Ugh. I mean you can find where uh, uh, a guy is a uh, it's hiding out. Um, yeah, there is another base from the DZT. And uh, has some advanced robotics. Uh, there are the, the guy behind the Sentinels is that uh, just a uh, thing about uh, throwing stuff off the roof. Um, the uh, rock, as he uh, caught him when a uh, he says he has no more information, and yeah, see, let's go. And the reactions from the X Men and what they uh, think of of it is kind of good. With more of the same, are we are we this now? People that just mutants that kill or the people. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Turn out that Garrick. Is a mutant human android, and yeah, he has to be able to take down all the X Men, except for Scott, who's trying that in who ended up fighting with kid gloves. But then he gets taken up a cable, and yeah, Gene just reads his mind to find out he's. As Scott says from Nathan, but didn't they already do that in the first episode that they met Cable in? Or, or, or what was that? Hmm. Um, yeah, Sensor is talking to someone in the shadows. I'm trying to have a satellite that got the image of a Queen Alandra announcing that Xavier is going to be uh, this year the new emperor. And yeah, it seems like it'll make things worse for uh, the the, uh, the X-Men since as the person title said they're telling the world a big lie. Yeah. And yeah, there is a magnet, magnet, oh, uh, a tied and gagged to a chair. I'm about to a Cotomer, so that has a, a power dampening collar on him. Yeah. And yeah, I'm guessing the person that Sims is working for is a uh, uh, Apocalypse, but the person that He's uh, in his house that he's talking to. I'm guessing probably Gambit, except he doesn't have a 
like his uh, accent, and he did say he was a uh, the the senator did say that the guy was one of the accents a uh, uh, villains, but mm, and I do I do kind of I do I also like uh, the part where, he, where the person in shadows was saying that the that they tried to uh, squash the X Men since ninety two, and that's when the I'm a series started. Ugh. I'm just so curious uh, who is exactly the person of shadows is and what the DZT uh, stands for. Hmm. And I thought Mr. Sins, Miss Sensor was like a, a chemist or a or biology thing or or some not an uh, engineer, but I eh, don't know. Maybe the person's out of this from the from the future that a uh, cable's from. Hmm. And uh, yeah, this is a good episode. More uh, questions answered, but so good. And yeah, you just see a uh, bro being stuck in the uh, anger. A pair of a uh, grief or anger stays of grief. Well, you just get to the acceptance at one point when she went in Nightcrawler, but then I think she was still angry when uh, she actually dropped the trash, but eh, you know. And uh, yeah, and I think it's the start of the first part of the season finale and hopefully it's good and uh yeah that's uh till next time I do see you guys later